I got Abel back up here to uh, work on digging out an area for the septic field. And uh, the gentleman from the uh, environmentalist told me that uh, I need to have about 100 foot of line coming out of the tank. We're going to put the tank right over in this area here. And uh, the cabin being there. And then it'll flow downhill and so the tank. You know, so we're going we're gonna to create a field here that's going to cover probably in two lines out in this area here. And then we're setting all this big boulder stuff that's here. Uh, we're going to set that down along the edge and uh, create a nice wall with that. Uh, trying to leave much, most of the topsoil we can so that uh, the subject can work better. Welcome back to Ray's A-Frame Adventure, episode 21. 21! We're legal now! Woohoo! Here we are, Abel is trying to set the stone for me. I'm just making him do a lot of work. We've got this giant stone here. I'm going to set that up as like a silent stone. So we'll put the other one there in front of it. Delicate work with tons of material. Yeah, real delicate. We're going to get that in position here. So getting hooked in here. I'm in the process of creating a new drive right now with, yes, Tommy the Tractor Man. He's down doing the dozer work here. Oh, good. Uh, Somebody who actually knows what he's doing. Coming up an old logging doing. road that was here. Decided at this point, since i got to bring power up, to create a new drive on that old logging road, gonna widen it out and go more of a direct route of the cabin. It's gonna be steep, but I'll be able to gravel it, gate it, and keep it maintained better. And it'll also give me the advantage of having the power lines come up uh, this direction. Okay, here you can see the old mining road running up the center of my property here. And this is, was an old logging road going out to the side. That's the new drive that I'm putting in, clearing out and having it go up into um, this area here. And of course there's the cabin right up in this area. And the gravel road that I put in earlier kind of makes this jog and then comes back to the main mining road. So instead of coming up here and going this distance uh, and making that cut back, I'm going to start here at the bottom and then just have more of a straight shot that goes up to the cabin. January 24th. It's cold out this morning, about 39 degrees or so, 38. But it's supposed to warm up to, I don't know, 45 or something. So. Sun's supposed to come out. There it is peeking through this morning though. It's beautiful. At any rate, we got a little bit of track to work to do. Uh, creating that new drive going down the mountain. Yeah, we just saw it. But uh, plumbers did show up. Getting some work done. Awesome. Bathroom area here. This is the washer and dryer area here. And then the little bathroom. Got your lines coming up for the sink there. You're hot and you're cold using that PEX pipe. Getting, making progress here. Had to cut out a stud here for the shower the handle and nozzle. It's going to go up there today. So they did a lot of the rough work. They had some issues trying to go around the log beam here as far as connecting to the sewer line up to the toilet here upstairs, which is going to be right up there. So they had to work around, but he did a good job working around it. That's for sure. Uh, some multiple fittings there coming down, and that'll hook into the toilet that's going to go right here and that all be vented out upstairs so getting started and uh, they'll be back here shortly working on the new driveway here and there I am sitting on the rock again <laughs> yeah taking the video while Tommy's actually doing the dozer of work right now that's safer for everybody hey I'm a safe driver do we want to mention the incident where you almost drove the dozer off the cliff hey I was just learning and it only happened once I'm thinking once might be too much the drive come up and go up. And should I mention the possum way. incident? Okay, it okay. It was pretty steep. And as we started clearing to move around this large giant boulder here that I'm on, uh, we realized it would be better and less steep to go up this way. So we created another road up there. January 25th. Beautiful morning, absolutely beautiful as you can see behind me here in the valley. Sun's out. Started out in the mid-20s this morning, already warming up. Supposed to be up to close to 50s today, so just spectacular. Going to do a little more tractor work. Um, try to get that new road finished up as far as roughed in. And uh, got the, the stuff around the cabin all done. Let's see if we can see in the background here. Probably not. Oh, the sun's demise. <laughs> I'll turn this video around in a minute. Let's see if we can take a look in the cab and go see what the electrical work that was done this morning. Did I say electrical work? I meant plumbing. Don't worry, I'll let it go. So we're gonna take a little tour of the plumbing this morning. Thanks. And there's for the refrigerator, ice maker there. And over here we've got the stub out for the kitchen sink. 
which will be in this area here, and the dishwasher will be next to it. Ooh, dishwasher, fancy smancy. Uh, let's go back into what is the laundry room, so to speak, <clears throat> washer and dryer. There's the setup for that. And then also the hot and cold water lines coming in for the uh, instant or on-demand hot water supply, electric water supply that's gonna be there. There's the power for that. And again, sink area. Vanity there and toilet. Shower. I guess I'm gonna have to install the shower pan. I was thinking the plumber was gonna do that, but it doesn't look like it. And then your uh, handle. Shower head. This is lines going upstairs. There's the drain line here. Coming down the wall here. So and then that'll feed out. So everything will tie into that. That's from the upstairs toilet. And then the hot and cold water lines going over to the other side upstairs, which is the sink. I'll get this side and we'll go upstairs in just a minute. Take a look at that. So here we are upstairs, and we have the toilet and then the water supply for the toilet. I wish that was actually over here on this side, uh, but there were some beams and stuff in the way, so I had to put it on this side, but that's all right. As far as turning it off and on, I'll be able to get to it. Um, and then we're gonna have a sink area here, and uh, here's the drain for it and the water supply. And then this is the vent that's really for the vent for the whole house. It's going up here in the wall here. And that'll go up above this window here, and then it'll vent out rather than going through the ceiling. Uh, that one, I'll have to cut a hole in my roof and uh, that'll work out great. Okay, here we are into the cabin. And as you can see, the drain line of the sewer is coming out here. You got a P trap over here for the shower, the water coming out of the shower. And then, uh, of course, your hot cold lines going back there. And uh, here's your clean out. And then, if you can see under here, this is actually going out to the septic field out there, and then it'll drop down to the tank. Oh, the other drain here for the sink. And uh, these are the two lines coming out here, which are gonna have valves on them, as you can see, and those drain, those will be able to drain it. So if I leave the cabin, freezing temperatures, I'll drain the system out completely there and uh, add some RV antifreeze into the toilet tank and stuff, accommodate for the cold weather while I'm not here. Here again is the where the septic tank's gonna be. We had some rock and stuff falling there. I have to clean that out a little bit, put the tank there and the field to be out there. And then we'll have the connect here coming from the sewer line uh, right here, and that'll go out. We'll bury that in afterwards after we connect it to the tank and then to the overflow. Okay, there it is coming from the kitchen side over there, the sink in the kitchen, and then coming over to here, and then connect as far as the sewer line. And uh, as you can see, it's all connected back there. It's like a three-way thing going on back there. I've avoided coming in here for a long time. There was Wonder why. weeds and vines and stuff growing in here. So it's creepy. Decided to crawl in here this morning, which is really, really close in some quarters uh, to pull out some of this vine stuff and uh, got most of it out of here. So there's not much that's gonna start growing under here anymore. It's just not a whole lot of light, but uh, there's just enough room to climb under here, as you can see. So anyway, it was a nasty job, but just, Decided to get it done. Get her done. And then get the heck out of here until I get under here and have to put in some insulation and some panels here to protect it from uh, freezing and uh, also just keep the animals out. I gotta put some aluminum panels or something on it. We'll see what we end up doing. Wanna see how steep it is. It is steep. And of course there's no gravel or anything on it, but I've got four wheel drive, so I'm, I'm gonna try, I'm trying it out here to see kind of making a loop and see if I can make the climb some, but it is pretty darn steep. Tommy's down there and the those are still working a little bit, so we're gonna wait here and then head down the main stretch of it and see how it goes. So now I'm doing the road test, uh, going back up, came down the one section, now I'm going back up. And it, again, doesn't look steep on this video at all, but uh, it's actually pretty steep. Save the drama for your traction. mama. Make it up here and get up a little speed. Well, so far so good. Bumpy here, but working. There goes another possum. It'll be fine. I think we can get some gravel on it, and get it packed in. Actually, there is a possum living under that rock there. You mean he used yeah, to live there? It's a little bit level spot. So oh, come there on. We go. So, since we're um, up there on the mountain working, it's really kind of hard to get off and go anywhere. So, lunch today is going to be uh, 
popcorn from Days Hardware this morning. <laughs> oh, another well-balanced lunch, I see. Mm. Not bad, actually. Yeah, that one's on my lap. But um, popcorn, maybe a protein bar or something. And then we'll get down later for tonight. Which has very, very much been the lunch for the last uh, two days. So we'll get back out in the valley here tonight. Go get some dinner. Oh, oh no, it's Master Rafu again. <laughs> the legend continues. <laughs> you really do need some help. Well, it's the end of the day. Had a good tractor day today. The new area, the new road, clear, going down the property. Finishing up here as the sun sets. Just gorgeous, gorgeous day today. Praise you, Lord. Beautiful day. January 26th. Putting in a new gate for the driveway. The new drive going up, I should say. So getting the gate in, we got the road all cleared out to the old mining road there in the center. So it looks really good. And uh, yeah, back to digging the holes. Fun, fun. Yeah, it's not all rock. It's heavy gumbo clay, which is hard to dig. But now I'm actually hitting some rock down there in the hole here. Maybe it's a treasure so, chest. I wish. Uh, or a dead body. I'm it's tired. not. <laughs> Tell that to Mr. But Possum. Got the other hole dug, which wasn't too bad. This one here is giving me a little more problem. We'll get it done here. Down here at the creek, getting water for to set my fence post there, the gate post or whatever, just with this clay. Mix a little water in there and it turns to concrete. It's beautiful down by the creek here. And of course, slipped with the clay on the bottom of my shoes and got my shoe all wet right there. But Ooh, your mama's not gonna not like too that. bad. It's got some oil proofing on it, so fortunately it didn't go up over the top. <laughs> I'm down into all my socks. But, uh, I hate when that happens. Uh, these things happen. Whoa, I'm about to slide as I'm standing here. I think I need to get out the creek. All right, we're hanging the gate, setting it up today. Um, got the post in, and I got a couple few rocks and some stumps there uh, setting up. So I set the gate up on that end um, like this. I'm just going to make a little example here. And then went across the ground there, found the high spot on the ground. So put the gate, the bottom of the gate in the high spot. The other gate side of the gate has to be up high enough so that when it swings open, it's not hitting any ground. Um, and of course, what we do is we held the gate up there. We check the level on the top of the post. Then we made our marks here. Um, you can see them, you can see that or not, it's dark. And then uh, I leveled down from the mark 36 inches down to the other mark there. And then what happens is we're gonna screw these lags in and they'll get screwed in on the bottom. And then one will get screwed in on the top the other direction into the post and that holds the gate right here at this spot so it'll actually go like this steady boy and slide in there yeah i'm trying to hold the camera at the like same that. time and then the top one will come down the other way and the reason the other one comes down the other way is so the gate can't be just lifted off of the hinge so this will get set like this and then it gets bolted into it so they i mean they could technically unbolt it but it's just kind of an honesty gate at this point anyhow. Maybe it goes without saying, uh, the post, I wanted to level it up. It has to be level, you know, this direction and on this side as well, so that it is straight up and down. So when that gate hangs, it won't tend to swing one way or the other. It'll just be perfectly balanced. That's the idea of it. I'm sure you knew that. Yep, got it. So we drilled the half inch hole and uh, using a wrench, box end of a wrench here, to turn it and crank it in, <sighs> which works good. Get some leverage on that thing because even with the half inch hole it's really hard to screw those things in so we got the bottom and we got the top and uh let's get the gate january 27th 2018 probably my last day here and then i'm gonna head back to florida i've been here probably the longest time i've been so far three or four weeks i don't know uh, anyway we're working on the gate here as you can see we got the bobcat up here and we got the gate finished yesterday and putting in some stone along the side of it there and i just dug out some areas they're going to be bringing me a couple more boulders to set in this area and here um it's looking good that should be a nice barrier 12 foot gate for now at some point in the future i might widen it out but right now it's gonna work well there's the finished gate not bad i like it with the rock setting up on the sides what'd you do with the dead body you dug up uh, say goodbye you're not looking good goodbye mr possum oh, a little entrance 